Hello, welcome to APEC Day 3. We're on the exhibition floor at the TI booth. We're here to demonstrate and showcase uh, the power to do anything. My name is Steve Tom. I'm the Director of Technology Development for Gallium Nitride at Texas Instruments. With me is Jeff Moroni, General Manager for Kilby Labs for Power Electronics. Thanks for the introduction, Steve. Uh, you know, obviously GAN has been a very hot topic in uh, APEC and in the industry over the last few years. Maybe you could start by walking us through the demo you have here uh, um, showcasing our GAN. Absolutely. Now, we're very excited about GAN for power, electric, tech, power electronics technology. When compared to silicon, it can do things that are smaller, cooler, and faster. So really what we wanted to showcase today as a demonstration for a server power supply, where we're able to triple the power density versus common topologies in silicon. Uh, so the first off, I would like to step through uh, the three different stages that we have here. Uh, the, the first is really cooler. This is 99% efficient totem pole PFC. What's exciting about this is that it triples the switching frequency versus current uh, silicon implementations and allows the power density to go above 150 watts per cubic inch. The second stage is where we're really demonstrating the capability to go faster. This is a one megahertz LLC converter uh, that again uh, takes the capability to go to over 140 watts per cubic inch, about one and a half times uh, current implementation. The final stage is a uh, two by 75 amp stackable single stage conversion. Traditionally, this is done in a two stage converter uh, where you have one stage doing an intermediate bus and a second stage doing a point of load conversion. This is really the smaller area. By going to a single stage, you reduce the co component count and ultimately able to quadruple the power density from a, a size per a cubic inch. Really compelling, uh, Steve, thanks for the overview. Could you maybe elaborate a little bit on what, uh, what's unique about TI's approach to GAN and what makes TI's approach to GAN differentiated in each of these uh, three stages of conversion? Yes, you know, I think the key thing that if you want to use GAN, you really want to maximize the performance. So uh, as opposed to silicon, where it's oftentimes a discrete fed, discrete driver approach, we feel that to really maximize the benefit, you have to integrate that driver. That allows you to optimize timing, uh, control slew rate for EMI, add in current limit protection, over temperature protection, and ultimately minimize parasitic loops uh, that really make you slow down things. So this, this approach, integrating that gate driver, allows you to really maximize power density, which is the ultimate reason for, for driving a GAN. Yeah. Makes sense, I totally agree. So, uh, you've been here all week. Uh, what's caught your eye? What are some very interesting applications you're seeing? Yeah, well, you know, I think uh, the server application is clearly a very interesting application for GAN. If I were to think another one that I feel is emerging, I think the uh, automotive space is really a great opportunity that's ripe for GAN, um, specifically the EV and the HEV space. Um, I think GAN offers uh, a lot of benefits to customers in the form of lower weight inside the vehicle, better miles per gallon, um, a lot of uh, system cost reductions in the form of volume and higher efficiency and higher density. I think EV and HEV is really a great opportunity for GAN, of course, in addition to servers. Well, that's great. I really appreciate your input, your time here. Yeah. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. If you'd like to learn more, please come to ti.com GAN and see how TI is revolutionizing data center power density with GAN.